All right, this is a 10-inch parabolic mirror we coded in 2003 at the Orange Blossom Star Party for Dave Rada. I think there's pictures of it on my website um, way back when. So uh, we've got to coat, uh, strip this aluminum coating off. Um, it's not in bad shape, but it's a little old. So um, to do that, we're going to use, it's a mix of uh, muriatic acid from the pool supply company and copper sulfate in the form of root killer from the uh, hardware store. Basically, the copper sulfate reacts with the aluminum to make aluminum sulfates. Muriatic acid, hydrochloric acid, reacts to make, I'm guessing, aluminum chlorides or something. And uh, the whole thing re uh, will precipitate out copper once it's done. And um, so we'll get started on that and be back in a minute. All right, ready? All right, so we've uh, just wetted a paper towel on the top to hold the solution in place, and then we're just going to add it. And it won't do anything fancy right away, but it'll bubble and precipitate copper and strip that coating out. But this one's too weak. We're going to have to mix up some there. We're going to there for six, eight months. It's starting to eat through the coating. You can see some of the dark spots forming. Making little bubbles where hydrogen comes out. Of course, I haven't done chemistry since high school, so I might have this whole reaction wrong, but I think it's close. We're mixing up a new batch of stuff. The other stuff is really old. You can use just straight muriatic acid, but the copper sulfate makes the reaction go faster. Faster is always nice. Most of it off already, hadn't it? The coating was old. Okay. You can also just close it and reopen the hood and it'll do the same thing. Alright, so we're rolling? Yep. Alright, so most of the aluminum is gone. You can actually see trace amounts of copper sitting here on the uh, paper towel. So we're just going to flip it over and uh, apply some new fresh coating. We're trying to get all the air bubbles out. It'll make new ones as hydrogen's born, but it's nice to get rid of it. 